Hey, what's going on there guys? You've officially arrived at the 420 scene and today we're gonna be talking about seaweed and kelp because you know what? We never made a video just on how important seaweed and specifically kelp is, but first show some love and support by watching the entire video, dropping a like, subscribing, and tapping the post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Also be sure to join our VIP Patreon program for one-on-one -on -one grow help, tips, monthly giveaways, live streams, all that good stuff. Link will be in the description below and also don't forget if you want to come and check out our grows and just chill with us, be sure to join us on Discord. Link to that is also going to be in the pinned message at the bottom. Today we're going to be talking about seaweed, kelp. You know, stuff like that. Seaweed is probably one of the most important and most beneficial stuff that you can ever give your plants. When I first started growing and when I was looking up information, just pretty much just to start growing everything I need to know, I think seaweed extract was like one of those first things that I learned that's super important and you gotta give your plants high quality nutrient sources because that's gonna be the key to having super healthy plants. Keeping an accurate flow of nutrients in the soil while also feeding your soil is going to maximize your plant's health which will eventually give you the better yield that you're looking for. When it comes to nutrients there's a lot of options out there. I mean I'm talking about from food scraps all the way to nutrient lines but let's talk about probably one of the most important things that you can give your plants like I just mentioned which is seaweed. Some people might not exactly understand why seaweed is so important and I'm starting to notice especially a lot of you newer growers out there asking me questions about whether this is good or whether that is good without actually understanding why something is good and beneficial for your plants. Is kelp good? Is recharge good? Is fish crap good? On and on. But not really understanding the whole point of why something is good for your plants. I mean, it's good to know that something is good, something's beneficial, something's going to help you out. But if you can't determine why, that's the problem and that's why I'm here. Trust me guys, all right? I was the same exact way. This stuff is a lot of fun, but it can get really overwhelming with some people and probably the biggest thing that's super important with seaweed is that it allows your roots to absorb more nutrients so you're upping your nutrient intake. I could even tell you right now off the bat, the first product that I ever used to get my seaweed extract and that was Maxi Crop. I've never mentioned Maxi Crop before, but that was the brand that I used to get my seaweed extract from. I even remember to this day, the NPK ratio, it's like 001, something like that. I think that's actually what it is. It was always great stuff to use and I what I would do is I would mix one teaspoon per gallon of water ratio and I would give it to my plants maybe once every other week everybody's going to have different preferences when it comes to giving your plants whatever nutrients you're going to give them but for me i always gave my plant seaweed extract every other week and my plants seem to really enjoy that i always like talking to you guys about my experiences with all the different stuff that i talk about so that way you know that i have experiences what whatever it is that i'm talking about but let's talk about the benefits of seaweed and why it's so amazing for your plants and why i'm just sitting here just constantly raving about it. I'm talking about aside from absorbing more nutrients because I mentioned that already. One thing that I want to get out on the table is that people get kelp and seaweed like the, they get the two of them completely mixed up. Kelp is not the same thing as seaweed. Seaweed can be a lot of different species of plants and algae. Kelp is more specified. I've seen people talking about kelp and seaweed being the same thing or you know people just kind of getting both of them confused but seaweed is just like it's a broad term of the different species out there. Crabs and lobsters they're not the same animal. They're from the same crustacean family but two completely different things. That's probably the best way I could really explain this whole determination with the kelp and the seaweed confusion. But anyway, like seaweed has a lot of good stuff for your plants. It's got sulfur, it's got your magnesium, it's got your calcium, it's got your boron, which is, mind you, just want to point this out there. Nobody talks about boron, so I wanted to throw that out there. So boron is important for you to have for your plants, kind of like zinc. Nobody talks about it, but it's important. So you guys remember when I mentioned that seaweed helps your roots absorb more nutrients? I like said that for the first 30 seconds, so as long as you didn't have ADHD and you got that part, you know what I'm talking about. It also helps your soil retain moisture, so that way you don't have to water as much as you normally would have to water. Seaweed also has a lot of vitamins that help regulate plant growth meaning like super explosive growth. Got your attention now, didn't I? Remember back in the old apartment when we were doing our down-to-earth super soil mix, I always got that kelp meal on hand, ready
ready to go. And I use kelp meal in my composty as well. Just really great stuff, like highest of high keys. I definitely do incorporate, whether it's a seaweed extract or the kelp, I use the maxi crop. I don't really use the maxi crop anymore. Kind of been staying away from the liquid based stuff. Recharge has kelp in it. Gaia Green, I believe has kelp in it too. That's why I was like, oh wow, these are like a lot of the ingredients that I would use. Also down the earth kelp meal. If you saw my super soil video that I did maybe, I think it was like in August or September, somewhere around there. I use kelp meal. Since we've been talking about kelp, I literally just brought it up with the down the earth dry amendments that I use. Let's talk about, just take the nutrients aside, all right? Kelp meal helps stimulate beneficial microbes in your soil. Super important here, right? The microbial life and the health of your microbial life in your soil is probably, all right guys, it's probably gonna be the number one most important thing when it comes to the health of your plants under the soil and what's going on underneath the soil. Because what's going on underneath the soil is just as important as what you're seeing. Just because you're not seeing what's going on down there, it doesn't mean it ain't happening. It's also supposed to regulate your soil's pH, which is pretty essential. I think that's pretty important. In case you just stumbled into this video as your first official 420 scene video, just know that your plants need a soil pH between six and seven to even grow properly. This is really random. I don't really know too much about all the different soil pHs because every soil's got a different pH level. I know the Fox Farm Ocean Forest actually most of the, I think all of the Fox Farm soil, based on looking at the soil schedule, you guys could, you know, you guys could correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that pH level is like around 6.4 to 6.7. Now, I'm strictly talking about the Fox Farm stuff here. As far as giving your plants kelp, I mean, there's different ways to do it. Like I said before, you can use that seaweed extract in a liquid form, like the maxi crop that I use. You can also use the kelp meal, like from down the earth, in a dried powder format, pretty much like a dry amendment for a super soil mix. Like I mentioned, you know, the video that I did about my super soil mix. You can also use kelp in your compost tea, like I mentioned that I do. I also have a compost tea recipe video that I made, and I think I do mention that, I, well, obviously, if I use kelp, it's definitely gonna be in the video, right? And of course, there's recharge, when I'm too lazy to brew my own compost tea. And for those of you guys memeing recharge in the general server of our Discord, listen, it was funny for the first million times, all right? Chill, brah. For reels, I gotta give Scotty reels a shout out for coming out with the recharge. Guys, saw what I did there. It helps some of us lazy growers stay lazy and mix recharge instead of brewing our own compost tea. Now, listen guys, all right? I'm not really that much of a lazy grower, but it's definitely worked out, like no watering issues. That actually requires the motivation to get up and actually overwater. Those of you that are online getting ready to straighten me out on how serious this is, chill bro. I always feel the need to add some kind of disclaimer when I make a joke about growing because there's always that one guy that just, he just always takes it to the next level. You know what I'm saying? You always know that guy, right? Everybody knows that guy. Sometimes I'm that guy. Minus the serious part. Can't be too serious in life, you know what I mean? But seriously guys, bottom line here, if you're planning on creating your own super soil mix, definitely add kelp. Use the seaweed extract from Maxi Crop if you want. That's, that's what I highly recommend. I've been using that stuff for years. The first maybe, first five years that I've been growing, I've been just using straight up maxi crop. Then I just, you know, I went down to down the earth and yada, yada, yada. Whether you're using kelp or seaweed extract, it's all good stuff. It's all gonna be beneficial, all right? So I don't want you guys seeing like, oh, seaweed extract, oh, it's not kelp, so I'm not gonna get it. Guys, seaweed extract is good. Kelp is good, it's all good. It's all good, man. <laughs> So what I did there. I want to see you guys all taking full advantage of the beneficial stuff in seaweed. I mean, why not, right? Do you want explosive growth? I hear everybody asking, especially on Discord, oh, what's the best way to get explosive growth? What's the best way to make your plants grow bigger and faster? Well, this is how, right here. All right, guys, so I feel like I covered a ton of stuff with kelp and the seaweed and the seaweed extract, all that stuff. If there's something that I left out that you want to share with us, drop it in the comments below. Maybe you'll teach me something. Maybe you'll teach somebody else in the comment section. That's how we maintain our awesome community. You know what I'm saying? So before I close off today's video, I want to thank everyone on screen who's been supporting us on Patreon. I really appreciate the love and support. So I'm going to close out today's video. Be sure to drop a fat thumbs up. Drop that fat like and subscribe for more content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. And as always, stay safe. Peace.